at these flowers that I got. I got these from Whole Foods and they are so pretty. And I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them, but oh, it just makes me so excited for spring. Don't they just give life to your house? I just love flowers so much and I'm so happy. Hello everyone. So it is Wednesday, I'm having a beautiful day and today I'm gonna be talking about why cooked food is harmful. Now, I always clamor on and on about why raw foods, why to eat raw foods, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about why cooked food is harmful. So here we go. Yes, I have notes here because sometimes if I don't have notes, then I forget stuff and I don't wanna do that. So to start off, for anyone who's watching this who doesn't really know much about the raw vegan diet, let's start it off with saying this. What happens whenever you cook your food above around 118 degrees? I've heard different degrees, but we're just going to say 118. Have you guys ever thought about that? Well, let me just spat off this list here. The protein of the food becomes denatured. Its sugar becomes caramelized. The natural fiber has been broken down, which means it takes a lot longer to move through the GI tract, and we don't want that. The vitamin minerals have been damaged. And and whatever vitamin and minerals remain, they're turned into forms that's hard for the body to utilize. The enzymes have certainly been destroyed. So whenever you eat cooked food, it not only gives you zero enzymes, it also depletes the enzymes you already have in your body. And if we know anything about health, we know that enzymes are very, very important. And also cooked food just, just drains the body's vital force to heal, to repair tissues, and to just give you this, this energy that you really need. Cooked food drains you. Whether you guys know it or not, cooked food drains you. Go on a raw food diet for five years, then go back to cooked food and tell me how you feel. <laughs> maybe not even five years, maybe five months, you know? Once you get past a lot of the detox. Cooked food steals your body's energy. I mean, that just is what it is. It decreases your alertness. And like I said, it, it inhibits healing. And one thing that I've noticed about after being raw for three years is that sometimes I'm so alert that I'm just like, whoa, Victoria, you know, I am so alert and I love it. And I really enjoyed it whenever I was in college too. I noticed that after I went raw, I could study better because I didn't have this, any of this brain fog, you know? So cooked foods suppress the immune system. I mean, we got people sick left and right and, um, cook food is not helping the immune system. It Heat disorganizes protein structures, so that can lead to deficiency of some amino acids. What do we got there? So, Victoria, you're telling me that cooked food can actually hurt your protein? And yes, I am. And it's so funny because people think that whenever you go on a vegan or especially a raw vegan diet, you're going to die of protein deficiency, ultimately. <laughs> and isn't it funny how actually the cooked food harms the protein. So, and whenever you cook food, the fibrous matter is changed into an irritant. Raw food only takes about 24 to 36 hours to go from the mouth out, you guys. But cooked food, compare that to like 40 to 100 hours to get out of the body. 100 hours? Are you flipping kidding me? That is like a long time. And also the more meat you eat. Oh man, that's going to make a stay in your body longer. I mean, meat can take up to a week to digest the parts of it that do digest. Mm. And if you know anything about health, you know that you want a clean, high functioning GI tract. Okay. And cooked food's not going to give you that. It's just not. So whenever you have all of that food or whatever, um, in your GI tract, what does that create? That creates rancidification, putrefaction. It ultimately creates this like seething bog in your GI tract, which is what? That's the precursor to disease. I mean, that creates mucoid plaque. If you go, if you don't have a clean GI tract, you're going to be a mess. You're going to have headaches. I think the leading, leading cause of headaches is just a, a toxic, toxic bowels. And, um, I see a lot of people with headaches and they need to clean out the GI tract, get off the cooked food and just clean the body out. So, you know, also raw foods don't leave you with a tired feeling afterwards. So have you ever had a cooked food meal and then you just, you just need a nap. 
I mean, yes, that can happen to you with raw foods if you eat a super high fat meal with tons of food combinations creating an abombo combo and if you eat a huge amount of it, then you can feel a little bit tired. But in my opinion, it's nothing compared to a cooked food tiredness. I mean, like I said, cooked food robs your energy. Um, it's not good. And whenever you eat a raw vegan diet, you're avoiding hormones too. I mean, cooked food is, it, no cooked food is benign in my opinion. And, you know, some is worse than others. So I would rather you have some steamed organic broccoli that you didn't steam that long compared to fried food or anything you can get at the fair, <laughs> for example. But, um, in my opinion, no cooked food is benign. And yeah, we just really got to wake up to this because we got a lot of people that are sick right now and notice how the raw vegans and the, and the people that are on plant-based diets and who eat healthy and who pay attention to their body notice how they're thriving and other people that don't give a bleep about their diet they're not or if they think they are they're wrong because <laughs> once you go on this plant-based diet this raw vegan diet the blinds open you are awakened and everything in your life changes so, I mean, at least that's what's happened to me. So, I just wanted to do this little video. And yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out this shirt. It says raw. That's what I'm talking about. Although, people today are probably going to think my name is Rebecca or something like that. <laughs> but, thank you guys so much for watching. Click like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.